Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Tournament Thursday and we're playing Conquest of Planet Earth by Flying Frog Productions. So we have four new alien menaces on the board. Our first one is the Menthalars. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know. They have a strength of two and intelligence of five. You may pay one fewer action point than normal to play any event card that has an action point cost to play. <clears throat> also, it costs the Menthalars one fewer action point than turn to buy an alien menace token during their turn. Mind control. Use two alien menace tokens to mind control the humans to do your bidding. Draw the top resistance card and add its strength to your alien strength total for one fight round. If it's a hero, draw distance resistance normal. And so they have five of these cards here. So we're good. <clears throat> we have the <laughs> Rantillion Beetleman. They have a strength of three and intelligence of four. Razor Shop Claws. Claws. Italian Beetlemen are plus one strength against any hard resistance. Burrowing Tunnels. Use one alien menace token any time during your turn, including during a fight, to move any number of your aliens from a single space to any other single space where you have an alien present. Okay. <clears throat> we have the Sitaris Kite Wings. Strength of two and intelligence of four. Flight. When moving, Satari Kai may move two spaces for every action point spent, skipping over any space not landed on. With turbocharged saucers, they may move up to three spaces for every action point spent. Strike from above. Use one alien menace token to discard and redraw a resistance card just drawn for a fight with the kite wing. This may not be used to redraw any coastal or air resistance. Okay. Use one aim minus token to gain plus two to your strength total when fighting a resistance counter or any air resistance. Okay. And we have the Vento Star Empire. They have a strength of four and intelligence of three. You may take a draw card step at the start of your turn as well as at the end of your turn. Use one alien minus token any time to prevent any one alien from being destroyed. It's shields. Okay. So we rolled for our action points, and the Vento Star Empire actually rolled lowest. So they're going to start first. They have four action points, and they have this play immediately card. Anytime a player defeats another alien in battle, that player may steal one space stuff card. So, but that's usually not the case, but that's fine. Okay, so we have four action points. So what I think I'll just do, and we'll see we have play during a fight to roll one extra fight dice for each fight and then choose the highest play during the first fight of a battle a lot of aliens automatically win that fight we come in peace okay well since there's no risk let's go ahead and move uh, all four here let's get a location and then we have a small town all right and let's see what our resistance is and it's strangers Gains plus four strength. I right, teenagers at lookout point, so they're actually going to be four strength. But we're going to go ahead and play. We come in peace, and so we'll win that fight round, and we defeat them. And yeah, that's pretty much it for those clowns. So we'll put a conquest marker right here. All right. Huh. And they'll draw two more cards. Okay, so the Methalars, they have six action points. And they have a couple things. They have we come in peace as well. Okay, so I think what we're going to do with them is since we have six, we're going to move two here and two here. That's four. So let's go get our locations here. We have, ooh, a military base. That's going to be a tough one. And then here we have a forest. Okay, so we'll start, well, we we'll go ahead and do that. So we still have two action points left. 
we have the military base so let's go ahead and see what we get for that we have tanks okay so we're gonna play we come in peace and we're gonna go ahead and beat them right off the bat okay so there's that let's do our I don't know if I should have did that but they only have a strength of two they're not that strong so Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I might not should have spaced them up. Actually, what I should have done was I should have just made four. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to give myself a mulligan on them. All right, they would have done four. All right, and then they'll move two here after this. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's see. Okay, they have three. So they're going to fight. And they get a crushing victory. So that's that. And one more. And this is National Guard. Uh, it is not a city or a location. So they're going to fight them. And they beat them. Okay. So... That was four. They've won this, and then we'll spend the other two, and they move there. Okay, and that's their turn. <clears throat> and they're going to gain one event card. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have these guys. They have six action points as well. So I'm not going to make the mistake I did last turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send. Hmm. Let's see. Choose any player to immediately gain die three. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to spend one action point. What is this thing? And we're going to gain day three alien menace tokens. So we'll gain two. Okay. So they're going to gain two alien menace tokens. That's fine. All right. And so now they have five strength uh, five points and when we play this we're going to look at the top three resistance cards and put them back in any order we choose Ooh. Uh, I tell you what well yikes that's 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 not that's not ooh. okay All right, so we'll spend four <clears throat> here. I'm gonna come here, and this is uh, see that that was kind of a waste. That's fine though, because we know what's coming. And let's see, I can only spend two action points. If I can spend one action point, I can do a three. I can try. You know what? Let's try. Uh, we'll risk it. <sighs> oh, this is a risk. We'll spend our last action point. We're going there. Oh, crap. Well, this is probably going to be very bad. And so we know we're getting paratroopers. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to find a paratroopers counter token here. I have to put one on the board. Okay. So I have to put one on space five, which is here. Okay. And now we got to fight these guys. And they got a crushing victory and they defeated us. Okay. That's not really that good, but that's fine. All right, and they'll draw two more cards. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to spend one alien menace token. And we're going to move these three here 
and we're gonna fight because we can do that during a fight so this time we beat them so that's one down now we know we're going to get some hard resistance here so here we go now we are plus one against them this is at the end of each command phase okay all right well that's fine so <clears throat> what we're going to do is they have a strength of nine we have a strength of three six nine ten so we actually have one up on these guys oh that was terrible however we can play not these two because we haven't done that yet we can play swarm and we can roll two dice and we choose the higher result which is a six and that's going to give us a crushing victory okay and now we'll do the final resistance oh, that's there. and we get forest ranger hmm well on redneck this is not looking good okay so they have a this is not a forest location is it? it is not so they have a seven eight strength we have a nine again however I can do this whirling strike here and use the higher of the two dice well it both both were twos but was still good enough to beat them so okay we paid off we got uh, some terror points there that's fine that was actually not a bad bad gig right there and then we're going to draw our four event cards okay and now these guys uh, they have a action points of five so let's see what we have here hmm That's good to have. Okay. So they're going to play on the highest here. They're going to play this unexpected chemical reaction on these guys. Um, I don't want to play anything else yet. Okay. So they have five action points. So they'll move four here and we get a college town <laughs> Oops. and they get well this is a mathematician Ooh. and they're going to be uh, minus one so they only have a strength of one so this should be an easy beat down here yeah it is so they beat those guys so they have a conquest marker here. Um, and they'll draw one card. All right. So that's it for the people. Let's do the resistance and let's see what we get. All right. This card plays as noted above and affects the group terror points total. So, we're going to put this on a um, unit, and we'll roll, starting with the first player. He's a one. Sorry, they were one. They're two, two, six. So, these guys are going to be minus one terror points. Okay. Uh, we're not going to remove any, move the track one step forward, okay, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, alright, let me put my resistance counters on the board. And we'll have to do that. And we'll start with the first player. Actually, it's these guys that are minus one. No, 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 they rolled a one. That's right. He rolled, no, shit. 
he was the first player. He should have rolled a one. So these guys are minus one terror point. Okay. So we're gonna put a one. So we're gonna get jet fighters. Two. Bomber fighters. Three. It's gonna go here. And two. And this is bomber fighters. So there we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if anybody's got the move ability. They do. The jet fighters do. <sighs> see where they move. They move to space number two, so they're moving here. They have the move ability. So they move to space number three, and they stay there. And do the bomber, the bomber fighters don't have the move ability. Okay. Barrage. Do we have any barrage? Uh, no. No. All right. And let's roll for tech breakthrough. No. Okay. Okay, so they go from six to six five. So our first player group is going to be the Beetleman. <clears throat> okay, and their strength is zero because of this card. And they have two action points, so they're going to bring one in, and they have a play immediately, and it says, roll a d6 on a roll of three plus draw a space stuff. No. On a one or two draw a human tech card. Well, that was terrible. All right. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a human tech card, and this is fortified defense. Locations that are not any of the following may not be demolished. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to play this, and we get to look at the top three cards of the resistance deck. I have some coastal resistance shuffled in there. I don't know why. And put them back in any order. So let's see what we got. We have, well, that's not too bad. Uh, I guess I'll keep that like that. Okay. And let's see here. We will move. Let's do this here. We're going to move him. We have one action point, but we can spend alien menace tokens. So let's spend that one and we'll tunnel these guys here. And we got to fight the paratroopers. All right. <clears throat> Oh, that's right. I gotta add to their strength to the location. I'm sorry. So we have a city, and we have three. Wow. Okay. So let's see what we have. All right. So our first resistance we know is going to be these guys, and they're gonna be five plus two is seven. So they have seven. We have nine, and they have that cunning ability. And but we still beat them. So we beat the SWAT team, we take off the paratroopers, and we've won. And when we win a fight, we gain two alien menace tokens. So we can do that. Okay. And now we'll do our next resistance. And we have the Doomsday Cult. And they are a strength of two. Okay. All right, five and two is seven, but two and nine, will we still beat them? <clears throat> and last but not least are the fighter planes. They have six, we have nine, and we beat them. So what a what a what a good round for these guys. Uh, they are now at. Um, Wow, five action points, I mean terror points. And we're gonna do terror in the night. 
and they're going to immediately gain five more points. All right, well that's that. That was their turn. They had a good turn. Okay, these guys up here. Let's see what they're going to do. They have six action points. They're going to play two to gain this. Gives them plus one terror point, and then we're going to move uh, that there. And we're going to go there. And they have a small town. That's not that bad. And they get a resistance here. <clears throat> Investigative reporter. Okay. And we got to put another paratroopers guy on the on their board here. Let's see where it's going to go. Space number six. And it's going to go there. Alright. Uh, say it gets strength three. And they got a crushing victory. Look at that. So take that out. Okay, well, four, six, and they beat them. So they beat the paratroopers. And there they go. Um, okay, well, that's basically it for them. I get an event card. And next we have the Vento Star Empire. They have five action points. Actually, they were going to play this too. They're going to try to cancel that human uh, resistance card. On a roll of four plus, they do. <clears throat> so that card is no longer valid. And that's good. Okay, so the Vento Star Empire. <laughs> hmm. Well, we have five action points. What I think I'm going to do with them is I'm going to send three here. Let's do a location here. And we have electric power plant. Okay. And we have to roll. And on a one or two, they are destroyed. No. 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 Okay. That's fine. And let's do our resistance here. See what we get. We get riot police. Uh, that is not a town location. They went on a tie. <sighs> they destroyed. Okay, but we're going to play this. And we're going to use our alien menace token to prevent that from being destroyed. And we're going to keep going. Okay, well, we still beat them. No problem. So they're defeated. We'll put a conquest marker here. And then we're going to play our other two action points. And we have freedom fighters. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to hurt them. So, because uh, they're obviously winning. So we're going to try to destroy those aliens there. And on every four plus, we're going to destroy one. Yep. No. No. Okay, so only one was destroyed. Okay. All right. And last but not least are these guys here. They have five action points. <sighs> okay, they're going to use the atomic bomb. They're going to use it on these guys. They don't want these guys to win. They're going to spend three action points. And they're going to destroy this. And they're taking the city off. And they have to put a demolished marker there. So that hurt them really good. And then here, let's see here. Um, let's see, if they want to play anything else, they do not. Okay, so they're going to move to... That's, that was because that was what three? Yeah, I move two here. Let's see what we get. We have a town. Okay, let's see what we get. Whoa, ooh. 
Yikes. Hmm. Oh, well, they can pay a few action points, so they actually have one more action point left. And I think I'll move him here with that last action point. Okay, well, this guy is going to hurt them probably. There's nothing they can really do. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So, two, four, and eight. And he has seven. He is eight, so it's a tie, actually. Eight, nine. So, actually, they're going to lose. So, they lose one. Ish. Yeah, and they lose. So Captain Fantastic just destroys the hell out of them. They have lost. And there we go. Let me uh, shuffle Captain Fantastic back into the deck because he pops up from time to time. Oh, man, that hurt. That hurt those guys. Okay, so, yeah. And that is the end of that turn. And so let us go ahead and do the resistance phase. This saw uh, draw an event card to see what happens. Uh, the human tech track immediately moves one step forward, and each player must immediately choose one of their aliens to be destroyed. Oof. Well, he has no choice. I guess we'll destroy him. Uh, he has no command points, so our action points. So there you go. And he'll destroy him. That was terrible. Okay, so there we go. It moved one step forward. Wow, that was a horrible card for the for the aliens. Okay, and now <laughs> we move it again. And here we go. And uh, we're gonna draw some new tokens. So let's see. We're gonna have space three. Okay, well then this is going to move to space six. Actually, it's going to move there. I'm sorry. Okay, that goes to six. So it's going to move. They're going to get another thing and they're going to move here. Five. Oof. And two. And that's going to move there. Okay. All right. Let's see. We have some with the move ability. I know. The fighter planes are going to move. So they move to three, which is just basically going to flip those. Uh, the jet fighters, they're going to three. Okay, that's it for those. Barrage. I don't think anybody has the barrage ability. No. Okay, and then we roll for tech breakthrough, and we gotta roll three dice. No sixes. Okay. All right, that's it. So let's see who gets to go next. He has three, five, three, two. So the Vento stars are first, with only two action points. Wow. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll spend an action point to put him there. And these guys are kind of strong. So, I'll spend an action point and move that there. And this is a coastline. I have to have a coastal resistance. And this is some Marines. And they destroyed our people. So there's that. Okay, well that was the end of that turn. Okay, so these guys have three action points. 
<coughs> we'll put these three in. Hmm. Okay, they're going to play this Contagion, and they're going to roll a d6 on any 4 plus is wiped out. And it's not, so that Contagion is no good. And then the Marines, okay, the Marines are taken out. Okay, so actually we're going to have a, uh, a fight here against the fighter bombers. Okay, well, they have five and threes, eight, two, four, six, eight. So it's a tie. So we'll go again. Okay, four and five is nine, two, four, six, nine, tie. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait, I don't have any destroyed ones. Okay. And here we go. All right, so they finally won. So they beat the fighter bombers. And that's the end of their turn. Okay, so these guys are going to go. They have five action points. So we'll go ahead and put all four here. Uh, play during a fight to give aliens plus two to their strength total. Uh, choose any space of card and play. Well, it's not... Okay, well, we don't have anything like that. This is the one I might play. <sighs> Although they've already very strong. Um, okay, well, they're going to fight the infantry. Let's go ahead and just do that. And they destroy the infantry. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go here. We're going to play an alien menace token, and we're going to move. Oh no, I can't do that. No, I don't have an alien present there. Okay, well I guess I guess that'll be it for them. We we back on the board. Okay. Um, Huh. These guys have three action points. Hmm. They're going to play this. It's going to add two resistance to there. And then we're going to play Apocalypse. We're going to spin two of our action points and we're going to play that and if I roll a four plus the counter is destroyed. And we'll start with the paratroopers they're destroyed. The seals they're destroyed and the fighter bombers they're destroyed. So that worked out really good and we get one action point left and we have to just put it right there and that's basically the end of their turn draw another event card okay and that was a quick roll around most everybody was just trying to recover and yeah <clears throat> let's see here uh, let's draw a resistance card until the start of the next resistance phase anytime a conquest marker is placed roll a d6 on a one or two it is demolished all right let's move uh, this okay do we have any there's no, yeah, there's nothing, no removal conquest markers. This is going up four. Do we have any move? The jet fighters will move to two. So they're going here. Uh, those fighter planes will move. They'll go to four, and they're just going here. We don't have anybody with the barrage. Now we have to roll for tech breakthrough. <coughs> We do get a six. And let's see here. We have weather control. Anytime aliens wore one or two on their fight dice, one of their saucers at that location is destroyed. Okay. Let's start a new round. Three, four, six. 
Okay, so he has the lowest action points, so he will. I mean, I guess I should flip them over that way. I don't get confused. Yeah. Okay. So they have <clears throat> three action points. Hmm. Well, we're going to play, we're going to try to get rid of that tech card. We roll a four plus, we can get rid of it. We do. So the weather control device is done. And we're going to play bickering. And we're going to give these guys minus two action points for this turn. And then we're going to play Sonic Blast. And we're going to gain an alien menace token. And we're going to gain plus two strength. So we're going to move here. And we have a location of a fishing village. Okay. And let's see here. Let's roll to see what kind of resistance we have. A five. This is a regular resistance. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, town. Yes, yeah, it is a town. So five and six is eleven, but we have plus two. So actually, we're tied. But they get to roll an extra five dice. So we're tied. Okay. We're tied again. Okay, so they beat one of us. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm, hold on, I forgot. We weren't tied. Because I can spend an alien menace token to move him there. So we actually would have beat them because I remember we tied, but that gives them an extra three points. So we would have beat them. <laughs> okay. But this guy's going to play a ray gun set to stun. And they would have to re-roll. Now we would have tied again, so they still would have beat them. So these fighter bombers are gone. They have a resistance of that. So we're going to roll to see what our next one's coming from. And this is the coastal this time. That's a Navy ace fighter. A marine biologist. And marines. So that's seven. Two crushing, two ties. That's ties. We got a crushing victory, so we destroyed them, and so we put a conquest marker there. And that's another. Okay, so that's four terror points, and they'll draw some event cards. Okay. Okay, so these guys right here have four action points. We'll spin one to bring him. All right. Hmm. Okay, we'll probably play that. And then we're going to move three here. And we get a mountain range. Well, that's, that's terrible. That's nothing good there. Okay, well, we don't need to do anything. And so that's really, that's, that's their turn. Okay, these guys here, uh, remember they have this. So uh, this place is going to have plus two resistance, or minus two action points. So I'm only going to have four action points. So we're going to need to bring one action point. So I have three more action points, and we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. These jet fighters will move. If we don't take care of them, they may hurt us. <sighs> okay, so what I think I'll do is, as I think, four, we'll, we'll spend three. One, two, three, and we're going to fight the jet fighters.
Oh boy. Okay. Well, here we go. This is going to be this is terrible. I think that's going to hurt them really bad. This is a destroyer. I'm looking for yes. So the destroyer goes there. All right. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. However, they still have 12, so they can still beat these guys. Okay, and I think we'll use Swarm. And we'll get to roll an extra dice and see what we use the higher of the two. Well, that was just bad. Whew. So they lose one. Okay. Five and five is ten. Eleven, twelve. Ah, they getting beat again. So, ah. oh, they got a crushing victory on that. So that was actually pretty good. So these guys are done. They got lucky with that crushing victory. We'll flip this, but we still have another fight going. But it's a little bit more um, even now. So we have five and four, and they lose. So they got taken off the board. Wow. And so, okay, well, that game event card. All right, it's these guys here, and they have four action points. And I uh, think what we'll do, let's see what kind of cards we got. Hmm. Well, we'll send three here at the prepared defenses and they're going to get plus two resistance so they're going to have uh, four resistance so let's see how that's going to go okay well, that's not <clears throat> four six okay they beat these guys uh oh uh oh okay <clears throat> and she's going to draw an additional resistance yeah I don't think this is going to go good alright so let's do our <laughs> oh my goodness boom okay boom Oh, crushing victory. So they were totally wiped out. Wow. And I think that's going to be it for them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our resistance. Place one resistance counter in a random space on each board section. Okay, so that's not going to be good for these people. All right, we get a three going here. Two. Three. Six. And we're going to have an automatic fight. And they just got destroyed. Okay, uh, remove any conquest marker. No, nope, with no aliens present. Okay, that's got removed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, they're gonna play alien legions. And they can move all these guys back. So let's go ahead and redo that fight. Ooh, they were lucky. Crushing victory. Okay, so they got rid of the infantry. So that really helps them out, though. Okay. Uh, move the tech track, and it's going to again, and here we go again. we got to do this all over again. So four. 
And that's going to go here. And those are jet fighters. And we're going to have us a fight there. Seven. And four is 11. Three and four is 12. So they beat the jet fighters. Okay. One. Three. And that's going to push them there. There they go. Okay. Anybody moves? We have no moves. Barrage. Mm, we have no barrage. And now the human tech track. Should five, not four. No sixes. Okay. Two. D6. Let's roll for them. Five. Two. Four. So we have a two and a two. So let's roll off to see who rolls. One. Okay. So our first players are going to be here. All right. So they're not actually doing that bad. <clears throat> they're going to get to put a conquest marker back on there. And so I think what we'll do is we'll spin three. And we're going to go to this location. Oh, wait a minute. I want to get somebody there. So one, two, and that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's fine. Had to do it. That'll be the end of their turn. Okay, so these guys here, um, they have five action points. Let's see. Let's see what they can do. Okay, they're going to give, who else is a high action points this turn? They're going to give the Vento Star people, again, my bickering, minus two action points. They keep that. Take an event from the discard pile into hand. Hmm. Well, let's take Alien Legions. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, we won't. We'll take... Uh, I want to say we come in peace. Yes. We take we come in peace. All right, I think this is what we're going to do. Because they have five action points. <clears throat> Now, Terror Factories <sighs> Okay, we're going to play one, now we're going to spend three action points, and we're going to get a plus one Terror point for that. Because it is a factory, uh, we're going to put an Alien Terror Factory here. So, where are those markers at? Here we go. So it gives us a plus one Terror point. Okay. So that's that. Okay. And then we have one action point left. And I think what we'll do is we'll come here and we're going to draw a location. And we have a radio station. Okay. And now we're going to draw resistance. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to play We Come in Peace. And we'll destroy all these guys. We're going to put a conquest marker. Now, that says all adjacent locations with population one or higher are plus one population while there's a conquest marker there. So, actually, it's going to be 
three, four, five, six. So right now they're at six terror points. Two more and they've won. Um, yeah. And that's going to be it for them. So they'll draw two cards. Wow, look at that. They could possibly win next round. So that doesn't stop them. They're going to possibly win. Okay, so these guys up here, let's see what they have. Okay, they have two action points. That is not a lot. Okay, they're going to play one. They're going to draw a space stuff card. Crooks to Terrestrial Warriors. All right. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Okay, so they got these guys, and they have a strength of four. So they're like allies with them now. Okay, so that was one action point. I think what we'll do is we'll spin one action point. We're going to go here, and we're going to play this, and it's going to give us plus two strength. Hmm. Actually, we're not going to play that one. We're going to play this one. It's going to give them plus two strength, so it's six strength. Okay. And let's see what location we have. Atomic Research Lab. And we have two resistance. They have a three and four is seven. They have a four plus two. six but they can roll two dice and roll and which one to use and that's no they lost Oof. is that how I'm doing that right Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> they would have lost. But, they get to keep them because they play diplomatic withdrawal. So they just move them back. Okay, so they lost. Now, it says here, uh, at the end of each game round, if not conquered, roll a d6 or uh, put a human tech card into play. Well, it's not conquered, so they're going to get to roll a d6, 4. On a roll of 6. Okay, so that's fine. And that's it for them. They, they don't have any more <laughs> points. Okay, so they get two vent cards. Alright, so these guys right here... <clears throat> Uh, they have two less action points, so um, all they have really to be able to play is two, and I'm going to play one only. I'm going to put it here, and then he's going to gain D3 action points. I mean, uh, alien menace tokens. He's going to gain one. Oh, that's not good. All right, and then they're going to have a fight with the infantry, and they beat the infantry. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, wow. And that is the end of that round. Let's move the tech marker. Let's do a resistance event card. The human tech track immediately moves, okay, one step forward. Each player must immediately choose one of their aliens to be destroyed. So it goes there, and they'll choose this one. Uh, 
they'll choose this one and they'll choose this one and I guess they'll choose this one okay yeah okay alright do we have to remove any conquest markers we actually don't so no alright move the trek forward okay so now we have to put some aliens on the board I mean some human resistance there's gonna be two and six and we have six and there's gonna be an immediate fight and they beat the infantry and then we have over here four okay anybody gonna move no do we have a barrage we will but it's only an adjacent space and they're not adjacent so nope and then seven dice for the human tech track Three, four, five, six, seven. We do get a human tech. Let's see what it's going to be. All infantry resistance counters are now plus one strength and they gain the move ability. Okay. And last round, well, he's going to roll a d6. He rolls a one. He has a four. He's going to roll a d6. He rolls a five. And it's three. So this is the first player right here. And we may have some problems here. He has one action point. He can't do jack. Actually, he's going to do invasion plans. Okay. And that's going to re-roll and give him three action points. However, I'm going to play Freedom Fighters. I want to spend two of those action points and try to destroy those three aliens on a roll of four plus. So I destroy two of them. And I destroy one and one. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if that's really going to help me much. Okay, so uh, that was two action points. I have one action point left. And I guess what I'll do is... I actually have two action points left. That's right, because I can pay one fewer. Okay. So I'm going to sp spin stolen technology. I'm going to see if I can gain three plus gain that. I can. Okay. So he's going to gain the Warlords. Okay. And they still have one action point. And I think what I'm going to do... Uh, they don't have as good strength... I'll move them there and they'll fight the artillery. And they get to roll a dice and choose one. And they destroy the artillery. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. Alright. So these guys have four action points. I can spend two to give me plus one terror points. Okay, so that's going to be uh, three, four, six, seven. Okay, that's fine. And then uh, that's two. I'm going to spend one, uh, two more to put them there. Actually, I'm going to spend one to put them there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my last action point to move them. Then I'm going to use this, and they're going to burrow here and see what they get. <clears throat> A train station. 
all with at least one resistance or plus one resistance. Well, all right. <clears throat> and now let's see what kind of resistance I get. Okay. Uh, that. Uh oh. Is that a tech location? Okay. Well, now see this is this is this is, could be a game because I have this. <clears throat> Play to discard a hero or superhero resistance just drawn and redrawn. So I would get rid of him. And then I would have got <clears throat> the scientists. So they have a strength of three. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when your aliens want to fight against soft resistance, plus one terror point. Okay. So if I beat these guys, because <clears throat> these guys are soft resistance, um, they win. Now we have a strength of six, they have a strength of three, and that'll give them eight terror points, and they will be the winners. That's a crushing victory, so they actually lost that. Okay. And then they'll go again. Tie. Crushing victory. So they lost that. Wow. Okay. So they lost completely. Um, they had it. They should have won it. But they didn't. Okay. <clears throat> it's these guys' turn. They have five action points. So let's see what they're going to play. That's been one. <clears throat> okay, they're gonna spend one, and let's see if they can take control back of the space stuff. They can. So, all right, it goes back here to these guys. All right, so there's that. Then they're gonna spend another play on any location with a conquest marker and at least one alien there. Oh, they can't do that. Oh. Oh, well, then I can save it for next turn. Okay, well. <clears throat> Alright, so 5, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Oh, they lost. All right. They lost again. Holy cow, man. These humans are getting these crushing victories. So, boom. These guys are taking off the board now. They're, they're done. And that's it. That, that's it for their turn. All right. So, it's the Ventos here. And they have three action points. And this is all they're going to do. Uh, they bring their people back on the board. And that's it. And yeah. Okay. And that's the end. Let me shuffle, redo the tokens, and let's see who's going. Well, let's do the resistance phase first. Let's draw a Vistas event. Ugh, event. Until the start of the next resistance phase, roll a d6 for every ability used that requires alien menace tokens that are cancel on our roll to four plus. Okay, this is going here. Uh, do we remove any conquest markers? We do not. These guys are still lucky. Um, okay, are we moving anybody? Nope. No barrage, and we now we have to roll for. Te oh, that's right. Infantry moves. Do we have any infantry? Uh, we don't have any infantry. Okay. All right. Now we roll for tech breakthrough. We're at eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we do. We get another tech breakthrough. And this is going to be all resistance and resistance counter gain. X is their strength total, where X is the resistance value of the current location. Okay. All right. 
Alright, so here we go with another turn. Now the beetle guys still have a chance to win, but it just depends. Okay. So the Vento Star Empire will go first. And they have two action points. And they're gonna play uprising. They're not gonna attack. They're gonna spend their action points on uprising. And they're gonna put that here. They're gonna put three resistance counters on three different random spaces. So you're gonna get one that has here, which is actually going to move them there. Five here, and three here. Okay, and that's their turn. All right, the Nethalars have five. Let's see. Captain Fantastic is now strength four. Each player gains one Alien Menace token. So we'll go ahead and grab that, 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 and that. Okay. So that's into play. And then they have during their turn, a player may pay three action points to draw a space stuff card. And then every time somebody draws a space stuff card, every player may get one as well. So there's that. Okay, they don't really have much they can do. They do have five, so they're going to spend one. And they're going to go two, three, four, and then move him here, and that'll be five. And we get National Monument. And we get, well, that's a local police. That's not going to be too hard. And that's a crushing victory. All right, so they're lost. Another crushing victory. Look at this. Okay, they finally got a crushing victory. They beat these guys. So now they have two, three, four, five terror points. Okay, so let's see what our guys here have. They have five terror points. So we'll spend four, and now we gotta fight those fighter planes. <clears throat> All right, and so they beat the fighter planes. So the fighter planes have been taken off. However, as still at this point in time, they have three, because this is a plus one, four, Five, six. If they can conquer the train station, they can get eight. Now, they can spend one last action point to do that. Then they can spend their alien menace token and move these aliens there. Hmm. And if they win they have conquered and gained eight okay well that's a hot shot pilot all right so they have seven so let's see well that's a tie and that's a crushing victory and they defeat these guys so they can put a conquest marker there so now they have eight terror points and they have one Actually, it was a that was a hard resistance. Yeah. Okay. Still, they won. They have their eight. The other aliens tried to stop them, but they couldn't do it. And they actually have nine because of that plus one. So the Rantalian Beetlemen 
have won and will go on to the next round. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you next time. Until then, have fun.